Meteorologist Ryan Shoptaw standing by to tell us at least we're done with the some of the strongest parts of the storm as it again is already over Mexico. Ryan. Yeah, absolutely, Brian. It's uh, moving in west and southwest of about Stark County. It's crossing the Mexico border as we speak, at least the center of circulation. Now, as we're on the back side of what is now Tropical Storm Hannah, yeah, we're not going to see as uh, gusty winds. I mean, we're not seeing tropical storm force winds. We are done with that. The wind threat is over. However, you can still see the spinning area of low pressure associated with this uh, pretty powerful tropical storm, but it is weakening gradually, and that's the good news. But again, it's going to swing in and throw a ton of moisture away on this back side. Now, great news. Right now, it's mostly dry in Corpus Christi, with the exception of the water advancing, thanks to lingering storm surge threats. But we're going to still see waves of rain, just uh, random and inter intermittent throughout the day today, just wrapping around that area of low pressure. Sustained winds at about 60 with Tropical Storm Hannah, and those winds are uh, focused around the center of circulation. Now, if you are about 30 miles or if you have family 30 miles outside north or northwest or even east of the center of circulation, about 20 or 30 miles outside the center, they're going to feel tropical storm force winds. But great news, this is weakening. This is moving out. And as it moves into Mexico, it is just going to fall apart. Remember, tropical systems hate land. All right, so some uh, facts from yesterday. If you missed it, it made landfall at 5 p.m. in Padre Allen, Texas, just uh, north of Port Mansfield about five or 10 miles or so and uh, as a cat one hurricane. Now keep in mind it is the 2020 hurricane season. This is the first hurricane of our season and we're only in July. Remember the H name storm typically forms. I mean in late August, early September and that's what happened with Harvey, but we got this very early in late July just to put into perspective what kind of uh, uh, and it's really impressive just how early this started. Now, max winds are up to about 90 miles per hour. Hannah is now a tropical storm, as you saw on satellite imagery. And as I mentioned, will weaken. And as we're on the back side, just some wraparound rain and tropical bands uh, providing some good rainfall for today into tomorrow. Now, here's the most up to date forecast cone. You can see it's just uh, driving its way southwest. And as it does so, weakens a lot. I mean, by about Sunday morning or at least Monday morning, uh, it's going to be a tropical depression and then a remnant low by Monday afternoon. So, uh, you know, in uh, about 48 hours, this will fizzle out over the mountains of Mexico. And remember, tropical systems not only hate land, but they hate mountains as well. Now, here's another look at uh, what's happening more at the surface as opposed to up in the upper levels of the atmosphere. This is radar. You can see just the center of circulation just off the uh, Stark County border to our south and west, and that, that does not mean just because the eyes moving out there out of the woods, you can see a ton of rainfall just cranking in from the south. A lot of rainfall over Hidalgo County crossing over into Stark County. And remember this eastern side typically translates into a lot of rainfall. So I do think tropical storm force winds and also flash flooding will be a uh, sure thing over down south in the Rio Grande Valley, especially in Hidalgo, Willacy and Cameron County. Kennedy County, some good rainfall and here in the city, just light rain at best. Remember, this adds up and these tropical downpours can drop buckets of rain in a short amount of time. And we're going to keep rain chances high all day today. But great news, the wind threat should be done around the 2 o'clock hour. Right now, Lex Cam showing an ominous sky, cloudy skies. Uh, and you maybe see a little bit of uh, sun fighting through. And we'll see some, and that'll help temperatures boost into the mid to upper 80s later on this afternoon. In the meantime, winds east southeast at about 15 to 25 miles per hour. Uh, more gusty as you get your way southbound into, uh, let's say, southern Duval County into the Rio Grande Valley. Hebronville sustained winds at 29 with some higher wind gusts up to 35 and 40. Now, again, as I mentioned, through about the day today, late morning, early afternoon, the winds should subside. They're staying in the double digits, however, 18 to 15 miles per hour through 2 and 4 o'clock. Southeast winds sustained at about 15 to 20. So again, it's going to calm down a lot. Now here's another look at radar. A lot of rainfall hitting in from the southeast. And uh, you know, we have a lot of watches and warnings in effect. And I do want to break it down. First of which is probably the more uh, more of a threat. And I do think tornado watches uh, may be a possibility as these tropical bands start to wrap around. Uh, the coastal bend. So again, so we are on the back side of Hannah, but that doesn't mean the threat is over. This watch is in effect until 9 a.m. However, 
is not going to be widespread activity. Not everyone's going to see rain nor tornadoes. It just means conditions are conducive to spin up an area of small low pressure and that may lead to an isolated tornado through the morning and that may be extended through tonight. We'll keep an eye on that and we'll let you know that the National Weather Service updates that. In addition, wind advisors in effect until one o'clock for Duval, Jim Wells and the western portion of Clayburg and the Nueces County. And the most important flood warning, coastal flood warnings for Baffin Bay all the way north into Port O'Connor. Some locations just seeing uh, coastal flood advisories. You can see numerous roads will be closed and beach roads will be impassable at times. Low lying areas may be flooded, so please do not go to the beach for today. All right, so uh, rain totals one to two inches on average, two to four in the valley. Again, more widespread down south. And tropical downpours stay in the forecast all day today. Mix of sun and clouds. However, rainfall is going to be coming in waves. Tropical downpours that will drop in a good amount of time. Temperatures in the 80s. Breezy winds should subside by tonight. And what to expect? Isolated flooding for Sunday. Flash flood watch. Tornado watch in effect to wrap things up. And the coastal flood warnings in effect. Water will continue to advance on the coastline. Ryan, a